I want to talk a little bit um, about lust. Um, I've never really... I'm not going to say I haven't experienced it because I have. That's why I want to talk about it. But um, I've never really talked about this or with anybody other than like, one friend or whatever. So I'll tell you the story. Uh, it happened like April, May, May, May or June of 2006, last year, or like last May this year. And, um, okay, I'll get down to it. I was living in, in uh, a city north, northern Alberta, and, um, in Canada, that's where I'm from, and living with my cousin, and, uh, I was a waitress at, like, the hottest bar in town. It was, so it was a little bit of a detrimental lifestyle. All my friends were really into, into drinking heavily and, uh, dancing and partying all night, and I've never been really into that, but, um, I... I guess I was into it more than I ever have been in my life, but it wasn't, I still wasn't the big party animal. I'm more in Germany than I ever have been. Um, but anyway, I was out with this one friend of mine, Rowan, who's just like crazy amounts of fun. She's awesome. And she's always life of the party because she's so cute and everybody loves her. And she, um, I met this guy, he's a redhead, and I have a thing for redheads. I've just recently discovered that I, um, even, like, I'm walking in the train station, I see a redhead, and I'm like, ooh, eye contact, like, why? I don't know. But maybe it's some freaky Irish thing I've got going on. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I, uh, hooked up with this guy, Travis was his name, and he was just, like, a, a casual, see each other out, always end up going home together. And we didn't sleep together for, like, maybe two weeks that we'd been seeing each other, we had sleepovers and whatever, and, uh, it was just a lot of fun, and he's a party animal, and everybody knows him, and he's really popular and really good looking, amazing dresser, good dancer, like, just, um, that, the top height of that lifestyle, and I was with it, and, and he liked me, and it was, it was cool, but, um, so I'm seeing him, and, and he's kind of not going, he's a trucker, and he, Whenever we go over to his house, I s we sleep on the f on the pull-out bed, the, the the couch, and in the living room because he doesn't want to show me his room because it's so messy. Like, and he won't bother to clean it. Like, I, I knew that nothing was going anywhere except that maybe this was going to be my summer fling, and I knew that I was devilishly attracted to him. And um, I don't I don't know why, but so at the same, not at the same time. Later on, like maybe the week and of, uh, yeah, it was the weekend of, of July 1st, which in Canada we celebrate like your July 4th, for you Americans, um, July 1st, long weekend, and, uh, we, um, I got really drunk, Travis was gone, he was at a baseball tournament, so he'd been gone for a week, and he was gone for like another four or five days after that, and, uh, anyway, this family friend that has been hanging out for quite a while, um, his name is Andrew, and he, uh, he was there, and we both got really drunk, and I never noticed, I mean, when I look back, I think about it, and he always did pay, pay not always, but he's been paying special attention to me since my birthday, May, and, uh, like, I actually remember one of my favorite memories, or a fond memory, is, um, we all watched the fireworks from the top of our van, our attack van, like hippie van, and I was the last one on top, and I didn't want to crawl down the ladder, because everybody was still there, and blah, 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 so I go to the side, and he had been off first, so I... I, like, he's looking up at me talking, and I just jumped down, like, right onto his shoulders, right, like, um, and at this point, he was still a family friend, but, uh, so then we got really drunk later that weekend, and, um, Raynell, my cousin, pull, who I was living with, pulled me aside, she's like, Jill, Andrew's interested in you, and I was like, what, no, what, like, he's Andrew, no, and he's a lot older than me, too, so I never even considered that, and, um, after she said that, then I kind of, I kind of picked up on things, I noticed a little bit more, and, okay, so anyway, where, where all of this is going is, um, Andrew and I hooked up that night, and it turned out to be amazing, like, I just, I liked him, he was comfortable, he was, um, I know, I knew him, so I, I was, I was totally, um, in a comfort zone already, I knew all of his friends, because they were my mutual friends, um, from my cousin, and, and it was a different kind of crowd that I found myself enjoying a lot more than, than the party crowd that Travis and Rowan were in. 
and so I hit it off with him really well and um, just didn't answer Travis's calls and stopped talking to him. I think I saw him at a bar one time after that and um, well I know I did because I got really drunk and he gave me a ride home and wanted to follow me in and I told him about Andrew because he was the clincher. Um, I didn't know that they were roommates. How the fuck does that happen? God. So I told him about Andrew and he like freaked out because obviously it's his roommate and he didn't know and because he'd been gone, he'd never been there when I went over to Andrew's and all that stuff or he would be partying or like just happened to always miss it. So he freaked out, we had a big fight in the front lawn and I still was fucking attracted to him, like just this pull. And I, I mean, obviously I didn't bring him home, I was drunk, but I, or I brought him home, but I didn't let him inside, I, he drove away, but I was drunk and I still really wanted him and for like a month after that I wanted him. I'd think about him or he'd text message me when he was drunk, why don't you come over and all these things and I was seeing Andrew and why was I still, I've never had that, I've never not, I've never been interested in more than one guy at a time and I, I knew that Travis wasn't worth the prop, the troubles that he would cause because it was nothing and I knew that Andrew was going to be worth a little, quite a bit more of my time because I really like Andrew but um, I don't know, what are your thoughts, what, do, I mean obviously I've gotten past it, and I, I, I really like Andrew, and we still have a good connection, but I still lust for Travis if I see pictures or if I think about him. He's still, um, the sex wasn't even that good. That's another thing. Why? The sex wasn't even that good with Travis. So why, why am I so fucking attracted to this guy, and why does he still stir up shit with me, with me? And I don't know how long this is, so.